Uterine fibroids are benign tumors arising from the uterine smooth muscle cells. They are highly prevalent, occurring in approximately 40% of women, and are one of the most common causes of heavy menstrual bleeding. According to their location in the uterus, they can be classified as submucosal, intramural, and sub fibroids. In this video I will be specifically discussing about the treatment of fibroids. For a more comprehensive lecture on this topic, click the link in the description for my previous video on fibroids. Any patient coming with a history of heavy menstrual bleeding should be assessed for the hemodynamic status. If the patient is hemodynamically unstable, immediate fluid resuscitation should be started with intravenous normal saline. A complete blood count should be taken to assess the hemoglobin level. In addition, cross-matching should be done if blood transfusion is required. Blood transfusion is indicated when hemoglobin level falls below 7 grams per deciliter in a young, otherwise healthy individuals, and below 9 grams per deciliter in older individuals with other comorbidities. Once the patient is hemodynamically stable, next step is to treat the underlying cause. Asymptomatic fibroids can be managed conservatively. Medical therapy includes injectable GnRH agonists such as gasarolin and luprolite acetate. These medications induce a menopausal state by shutting down the ovarian estrogen production. They are effective in alleviating the symptoms and reducing the size of the fibroids. However, these medications are not tolerated by all women due to severe menopausal symptoms. Selective progesterone receptor modulator, ulipristal acetate is also effective as much as GnRH agonists in the treatment of fibroids. However, it is important to note that medical therapy is not a viable long-term treatment option for fibroids because once the medication is stopped, they regrow to their previous dimensions. Surgical therapy is the next treatment option. The choice of surgery depends on the severity of the symptoms, location, and size of the fibroids and future fertility wishes of the individual. Minimally invasive hysteroscopic surgery can be offered to remove submucosal fibroids. Myomectomy is another surgical method to remove fibroids while preserving fertility. Hysterectomy, or complete removal of the uterus can be offered when there are no future fertility desires. Both hysterectomy and myomectomy are facilitated by pretreatment with GnRH agonists because they reduce the size of the fibroids, which makes it easier to remove them. And they also reduce the vascularity of fibroids, which causes less bleeding during surgery. Finally, radiological treatment option is uterine artery embolization. This procedure will reduce the blood supply to the fibroids, causing infarction and degeneration. Uterine artery embolization yields 50% reduction in fibroid volume. However, Effect on fertility is uncertain following this procedure. 